A few days back on Monday, the advisor to Zelensky, the diplomatic advisor who spoke to Republic TV, Shavan Sen and Mridul from Ukraine, spoke about being a neutral state, being willing to consider the neutral state status while asking Russia for security guarantees to ensure the shelling, the fighting comes to some sort of an end in Ukraine. Getting in some more breaking news now that the negotiator has said very clearly, very clearly, and Russia's foreign minister also said that they're looking at the security guarantees and the neutral status uh, demand. Now, the Ukrainian side has responded, saying that Ukraine is currently in a state of direct war with Russia. Therefore, the model... So, the Ukrainian side has responded to that, saying that the model can only be... Model can only be Ukrainian and only about legally verified security guarantees. Legally verified security guarantees is what the Ukrainian side is asking for. Firstly, absolute security guarantees, effective ones, not just... Uh, protocols of security guarantees. This means that signatories of the guarantees do not stand aside in the event of an attack on Ukraine like today, but they take an active part in the conflict on the side of Ukraine and officially provide immediate supply of the necessary number of weapons. And secondly, Ukraine no longer wants to depend on bureaucratic procedures that allow or do not allow closing the skies and from the said cruise missiles. We need direct and rigid safeguards from the skies will be closed. Hijab issue settled by the court, but PFI protests the verdict. Can there be a protest against the High Court verdict? Can courts be pressurized with protest politics? Ornab debates at 10 p.m. Stories of sorrow and despair as civilians flee residential areas hit by Russian shelling. With dead bodies lying on the streets, Russian war crimes continue to mount by the day. In another horrific video in Mariupol, a civilian who was trying to draw attention not to be shot was targeted by the Russian military. With more than 2,000 people reportedly being killed and more than 20,000 fleeing Mariupol in the last 24 hours. The siege of the city by Russian forces have shocked the world. Agency report for Republic TV. On your screens is the aftermath of a shell explosion near Kharkiv. This video is coming in from Shukwev district. This is what a funnel created due to shell explosion looks like. This video as claimed by Russian media is an exclusive video from the front line. The video shows Shekin Special Forces units working in the zone of special military operation on the territory of Ukraine. And on your screens is a video from Kyiv, capital of Ukraine. The video shows exact moment of a projectile hit that took place in the city. Smokes and fumes can be seen rising from the attacked area. Media claims that this video from March 15 shows tanks being mobilized via rail route as seen in railway station in Germany, where U.S. has an army base. The Zaporozhye 2 railway station was attacked by Russian troops. This is what the platform in the building of the Zaporozhye 2 railway station, which came under fire, looks like now. has been getting you back-to-back -back visuals that show the aftermath of the airstrikes 
and uh, the bombardments that continue by the Rus uh, Russian troops. In fact, this is the aerial footage here that shows the extent magnitude of devastation that has been caused as a result of Russian offensive against Ukraine, which is now on the 21st day. In this aerial footage, you can see uh, the residential areas that have been targeted by the Russian troops time and again. Uh, this is the residential complex that has been completely devastated as a result of uh, the bombardments. Now, this is the Mariupol region that we are talking about here. Remember, Mariupol is considered to be strategically very, very important for Russia. And Mariupol, we, in Mariupol, what we have seen is that more than 2,000 uh, civilians have also died as a result of uh, the bombardments and airstrikes that have uh, continued despite, uh, uh, despite the negotiations that have also taken place over the last few days between Russia and Ukraine. Nothing has transpired so far, but uh, bombardments and airstrikes continue unabated. The next set of visuals coming in from the capital city, Kiev. Now, remember, these are the, rest, the suburbs of Kiev that we are talking about here. Uh, even though there are reports now that the Russian troops continue to advance and now they are just five kilometers from Kiev city. Now this is again a residential complex that has been hit as a result of Russian shelling. The building there uh, that houses a lot of thousands uh, of uh, civilians has been completely destroyed. It has been abandoned as well by the civilians as a result of shelling and bombardments. Uh, let's take a look at the visuals coming in from the Kharkiv city, which is indeed the second largest city of Ukraine. Again, shelling and bombardments being reported there, considered to be strategically very, very important for Russia. A lot of shelling has also happened in Kharkiv as well. Uh, remember what the UN has already said is that more than 3 million refugees, the people of Ukraine have already fled and have taken refuge in European Union, uh, European nation uh, countries. So even as, uh, you know, the uh, um, uh, airstrikes and uh, bombardments continue unabated across Ukraine, there are uh, around uh, multiple uh, talks that are happening simultaneously. In fact, the latest statement now coming in by the Kremlin spokesperson saying that the neutral state status for Ukraine is also being mulled upon as far as the negotiations between Russia and Ukraine is concerned.